Hey friends, this is Brandon from This Is Tech Today, and we're gonna look at the Pixel 2 XL screen and how to add more saturated colors. And we're gonna compare three different displays on the Google Pixel 2 XLs. So there's been a lot of fuss about the hardware quality of the Google Pixel 2 XL screen, but there's also some complaints about the software, specifically the saturation and colors of the Google Pixel 2 XL. I would say that the Google Pixel 2 XL screen kind of reminds me of vlog profiles, for video editing. And if you're not familiar with what that is, I do have a really good example of what that is in my previous video right here. But there's this app called Oreo Colorizer that allows you to add a saturation to the Google Pixel 2 XL screen. And it works really, really well. So let me show you how it works. I'm on APK Mirror, thanks to Android Police for making this. You're just gonna look up Oreo Colorizer and you're gonna go and hit download APK. Okay, now that we've downloaded the app, we're gonna click open, and then we'll click install. So I've already installed this app on my phone, so it doesn't show this on it, but you'll probably have a prompt asking whether or not you want to install from an unknown source. Go ahead and accept it from this. Whenever you download something from APK Mirror, they have scanned all of it to make sure that it's safe. Okay, let's click open. All right, and here's the app. So if you hit start, it's gonna ask you whether or not you can allow display over other apps. Go ahead and check this, and then just hit the back button, right, and hit start again. And immediately, it already makes the colors more saturated. Now here's the thing, this is not the full saturation, it's not doing the high performance mode, so go ahead and check that, and you'll be able to see how much difference shows up in the colors from there. So interestingly enough, I was trying to show this to one of my friends to alleviate some of the concerns about the saturation. So I brought up the app trying to show him it and I thought it was already enabled, but it wasn't. My eyes had already adjusted to the colors without the colorizer. So it's very easy for humans to adapt and well, I got tricked myself. If you really want that saturated look, here's a great app for that. So for an easy way to look at how the saturation compares to not having it, I have three Pixel 2 XLs, so let's compare them. And while we're at it, we'll look at the blue shift on all three of the devices to see if there's a huge variance between them. This first phone, I have the Vivid turn off. The second phone, I have the Vivid turn on. And then the third phone, I have both the Vivid turn on and the colorizer on, but high performance is turned off. Maybe you can see on the video that the colors are more saturated on the third phone, but you'll notice that the high performance mode makes it really saturated. But I would say the difference between the Vivid setting being on and off is very, very small. I feel like I have to think about it really hard on whether or not it's doing anything. And at that point, I'm wondering if I'm just imagining it in my head. Here's a very colorful background to show you the difference between all three phones. It's really hard to notice in the video the difference, but I promise you the third phone with the colorizer on and the high performance and Vivid on is really, really saturated. Now, if we look at screen uniformity, all three devices are even. I don't see any perceivable issues with it. And of course, all three of them have the blue shift on them. And it seems like they have equal amounts of blue shift, so there's no variance between any of them that I can see. And then we'll see that the black smear is there for all three devices at a low brightness from zero to 10%. And it's not smear, it's smear. Thanks for pointing that out. So there's one downside that I've noticed about using the Oreo colorizer you may have a little bit of lag kicking here and there. It's doing a lot of work and so that's why. So this will be a little holdover until Google has a built-in software solution. What do you think? Do you think you're gonna use the Oreo colorizer? Go ahead and leave some comments down below. And thankfully, we're gonna have a software update that's gonna fix all of this. And I really wanna talk about this really great guy on Twitter. His name is Francois Simon. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Forgive me if I pronounce that wrong. So he's been analyzing the calibration of the 2XL screen and it's a bit off. So hopefully Google will fix that part as well. Um, even with the saturation, the reds do look a bit off. It's not horrible, but it could be better. Go ahead and check out his Twitter over here. He's actually posting some results about the calibration and it's very interesting. Hey, here's a bonus tip. There's an LED notification light on this phone. I was really looking forward to having this notification light. So if you want to enable it, just go into settings click on apps and notifications, and then click on notifications, this one right here. And then you'll see an option for blink light and it'll enable there. So far, I haven't found any apps that allow you to customize your colors for the notifications. So if any of you found one that works, please leave a comment down below. I have another video coming up on the sound issues with the Google Pixel 2 XL. 
So let me know if you're interested in that by leaving a comment down below. And I plan on having a video review of the Moment case and lenses for the Google Pixel 2 XL. I'm also going to compare the iPhone X's cameras with the Google Pixel 2 XL's cameras. I'm really interested in the portrait mode on both of them. It seems that despite Apple having a ton of hardware in the front facing camera, specifically what is essentially a mini Kinect, the portrait mode really kind of stinks. And then Google, they just have a front facing camera, a normal camera and a ton of machine learning. The machines are learning. If you found this video helpful or interesting, go ahead and help this small YouTuber out by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. That really does help me out. And I try to respond to every single comment that's left. So go ahead and leave some comments down below. Let me know if you're gonna use this and let me know if there's any videos that you'd like me to make. And even better, I have a Discord channel. So if you'd like to hang out with me there, I'd love to chat with you. Thanks again for watching This Is Tech Today. Until next time.